In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a boxes infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show me the first box, a kind of a 3D box here where I put the option number one or one data. Add the icon, you can add some detailed text. When I click, it will come with a different color combination, the option two, three, four, five, six, seven and the option number eight. Similarly, I have created the same thing with a different uh, animation effect so you can see here this is a zoom effect option number five six seven and eight so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide. Go to insert shapes from the rectangles. I'm going to choose the rectangle. Just click it here and go to the shape format height and width. I'm going to make this as 2.35 height and the width also 2.35. Then shape outline. I'm going to give any color. For example, I'm going to give some light color and shape fill. I'm going to make it. A white color here okay so it looks something like this I'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl D for later use and I'll keep it here now select this particular rectangle right mouse click go to the format shape and go to the effects under effects go to the 3d rotation the first one and then go to the presets and here scroll down and I'm going to choose which is the oblique bottom left just click it here and you don't see any changes here you can see there's no change then what you need to do is you have to go to the 3d format all right and start giving the depth so the maybe i'm going to give the depth as 125 all right so it looks something like this or i can make it to 150 as well all right and then you can see these two things which is the lighting and the material so lighting i'm going to select this one and the material i can keep it like this not a problem the only thing is i can just give some different color here so you can see here i'm giving, giving this particular color so it's giving more of a green and dark green here all right then select this one and bring it at the top here so it looks something like this all right so now select both of this and press ctrl g to group it okay you can group like this and then depending on my requirement i can just duplicate this one by holding the ctrl shift key so this is second one third one and fourth one to give the equal spacing let me just select all these four objects go to the shape format rotate sorry go to align and then distribute horizontally so it gives the equal spacing now i would like to add four more uh, uh, rectangles at the bottom also or four more squares and just pull it down and you can see here we have got this one now it's very easy for me so i'm going to just select the second one or you can just ungroup also let me just select all ctrl a and ctrl shift g to ungroup it ctrl shift g okay you can see here it's ungrouped now let me just select this one the back side one and i'm going to give a different color combination not for this one the second one i would like to give a kind of a blue you can see here and for this also i'm just giving the outline as blue here all right now i'm going to select this one and i'm going to give a kind of a purple and here also give the same purple and for this i would like to give a kind of maybe orange and this also i'm going to give the same color orange so likewise you can just give different color combinations depending on the requirement so i can give some dark red and here also the same color and here i'm going to give uh, maybe a kind of brown and this also brown so you can see a different different color combinations i'm just selecting here maybe i can just give some dark green color and here i can give maybe a gray color all right so simple you can see here i've created eight boxes with the different color combination and once this is done go to the insert text box 
here I'm going to type 01 make it bold increase the size and I'm going to move it a little bit up and then here I'm going to give the color which is gray and I'm going to insert one more text box which is I'll just say data and put it here make this also bold and give the same color all right so I can go then go to the insert text box here add some detailed text equals lorem within brackets one i don't need this much long text i'm going to delete some of the text reduce the font size align it properly and give this color also gray or depending on the requirement and if you like to add some icons click on the icons and you can just choose any icon of your choice so randomly I'm going to choose some icon from the list so the icons loaded here so I can just choose any icon from the so let me just select this icon and click insert and icon is inserted here I can just reduce the size to maybe 0.7 and give the same color what we have used here which is the green color and align it properly sorry select this one and align it properly all right so now i'm going to select this this with the help of the shift key and hold the control shift key just drag it here again hold the control shift key drag it here and here the same thing hold the control shift key drag it at the bottom and here also I'm just dragging it one by one you can group and drag also that will be an easy uh, process or easy way to copy the data all right so now this is my option number two option number three four let me just quickly do it and this is the option number eight once this is done and I'm going to change the icon so you change the icons you don't need to delete it so let's go to the graphic format change graphics from icons and you can just choose any icon of your choice I'm going to choose this one click insert you can see the icons got changed and then change the fill color of this all right similarly you can just do the similar way you can just change the icons depending on the requirement so you can see here i have changed all the icons and i have given the same color which i have used for the boxes now let's do the grouping one by one select this object and press ctrl g to group it you can just you can see here you can just drag the mouse like this select the objects and press ctrl g so one by one we need to just group it so that it will help us to do the animation quickly press ctrl g again highlight and group it by pressing ctrl g and then the last one then go to the animations enable the animation pane and here i'm going to select all the objects or you can just press ctrl a also to select all the objects and i'm going to add the animation more entrance effects you can see here we have got different different animation effects so let me just select the maybe basic zoom it looks something like this click ok and this should happen either you can say on click or after previous okay so i just make it on click all are on click now so now if i play the first option comes second third and if you like to increase the 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 animation speed select all the objects then right mouse click go to the uh, this one timings and then make it to 0 0.3 seconds so animation will happen quickly you can see here it happens quickly so depending on the requirement you can increase these options or you can just change the animations uh, as per your need